Hi there and welcome to this video where I want to present you a strategy I found on GitHub and that has earned a place very high up in the rankings. So let's not waste any more time and get right to it. As with many pre-coded algorithms for the backtesting engine built in the Fractrate bot, this strategy was found in a GitHub repository by Stash86 and the file is called the SMA Offset Protect Opt V1. But I will call this strategy the SMA Offset Algorithm. I have no idea to whom this trading algorithm originally belongs to or who wrote it. But if you do recognize your code, then give a comment below so that we can appreciate your work here. Let me glance over the code so that we can understand what its intentions are. The code for the algorithm has a function that creates the Elliott Wave Oscillator. That indicator will be used later in the buy and sell settings. Then there is a section with dictionaries that hold the buy and sell settings. These will also be used later in the algorithm. The algo has two predefined exits defined, one that sells at a 1000% profit, effectively disabling the ROI sell signal, and a stop loss setting that sells at a loss of 15% after entry. Then there are some protections defined which will be used in live trading. Effectively determining that pairs with low profit will be locked or excluded from trading for the next 60 candles, when they do not have a required profit of minus 5% and at least one trades over the last 60 candles. And a cooldown period that does not buy the pair again after selling within the next two candles. In this next part here, there are some hyperparameter optimization spaces determined for parameters that will be used for determining the buy and sell settings. The time frame for this algorithm has been set at 5 minutes here with an informative time frame of 1 hour. So in this case I will not test time frames higher than 1 hour for this algo. And in this section here we can see that the algo makes use of the pair list as informative pairs and the one hour time frame for creating informative indicators. As said earlier, the strategy will use the EMA, Elliott Wave Oscillator and RSI to determine buy and sell moments. And the entry signals will be made by the bot if the strategy buys when the current price is lower than the specific EMA value, adjusted by a low offset factor, potentially indicating a buy opportunity. Here in the second line it also considers the Elliott Wave Oscillator value to be above a high threshold, a high Elliott wave can be indicative of a strong positive momentum or a bullish trend. And here in the last line, the RSI value is checked to be below a certain threshold again. This is typically used to identify oversold conditions, suggesting that the asset may be undervalued and could be due for a price increase. However, in the second set of conditions, the Elliott wave oscillator value is below a specific low threshold. This could indicate strong negative momentum or a bearish trend. The strategy might interpret this as a potential reversal point where the price could start to increase. And since the conditions are evaluated in parallel, there's no hierarchical preference over one or the other. The strategy treats both conditions as equally valid for generating entry signals. Selling here will be done when a sell signal is generated when the close price is higher than a specific EMA value, adjusted by a high offset factor. So as you can see here, the code looks to be a momentum based trading strategy that uses moving averages, Elliott wave oscillator and RSI to make buy and sell decisions. Now as I see it now, the strategy is to be designed for short term trends as indicated by its 5 minute operational time frame, making it suitable for day trading or short term speculation. And now we think we know what the code does, it's time to test this code and find out how its hypothetical performance would be in previous market conditions. Interestingly, the configured informative pairs and time frame were never used in the actual algorithm. That's why I could also test higher time frames here. Not that it mattered though, because the 30 minute time frame seems to have the best cards here. But other low time frames like the 15 and 5 minutes also perform very good. The 30 minute time frame wins because of its high profits, Sharp and Sortino combination. But the other time frames have their own very specific positive scores, like higher win percentages, lower drawdown, higher Calma ratio and pairs percentage. 
It's a close call here, but the 30 minute time frame scores just a little bit higher. Now, be aware that choosing the strategy's time frame for you depends on how it performs on your preferred pairs and possible backtest results here. Taking a look at the plots and here it's weekly performance, you can see that it's almost a straight profit line here. You can hardly spot a large drawdown. Even after the top of the last bear cycle, this algorithm kept adding profits to your balance, which I cannot remember seeing in the performance of earlier algorithms. They always had a period of large drawdowns at some point. And I can check this performance in the following chart here. And as you can see, other algos had at some point a noticeable drawdown, whereas this one just has an upward line without any noticeable large periods of declines, like the Cluckmay algo for example. Which brings us to the comparison of the performance indicators of this algo with the other top 10 algorithms. You can see that overall, this algo does not visibly outperform the other top 10 algorithms. But what it does is being consistently in the top 3 or 4. Gathering points that add up to the total high score, where other algorithms sometimes fail to score well. Trading is being consistent and this seems to be a consistent strategy, whether it is in trading with its almost straight line or scoring on performance indicators like the plots given here. Which brings me to the final part of this video and it is the end score of the strategy in the league. And at the moment it is the second spot in my personal league of tested trading strategies. And with a huge cap in scoring points in comparison to the third placed algorithm. Now this SMA offset strategy might not score the most on all performing indicators shown here. But you saw earlier that on average it scored consistently high over all parameters. Which made it get its overall added up score here. Now please be aware that these results are tested on historical data and that there is no guarantee that it will keep performing in the future. So therefore always do your own research and forward test anything before using your actual money. And to round things up, thanks for watching this video, click like and subscribe if you want to see more of these and other videos, and if you want to let me check a certain strategy or algo, then add it to the comments section below and I'll see what I can do. And if you like this and want to support me, then become a patron. All files, backtest results and output, charts, posts and other stuff will be available on my Patreon page for my patrons. So, see you next time and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!